wig and I'm going to show you guys how I lay my wig. We are still gonna cut some layers in Miss Girl. Well, she not a girl. Her name is Miss Ghost. If you know where that's from. I'm gonna show you how I put on my wig and to take my gotta be glue and first before I put that on my head I'm just going to make sure that the wig really fits my head really good and I am going to just like make sure it's snug on my head basically like where I want to put it and all that so I went ahead and put it on now it's on my head with the gotta be glue I kind of waited too late to put the glue on I kind of waited too long so now I'm going back in when the lace at the end of the lace it when it's not laying down I take the end of my red tail comb with a little bit of gotta be glue and I really just like melt the lace into my skin and then I'm gonna tie my hair down I tie it down for like five five or six minutes five to ten minutes it just depends on how much time I have now I took it off and I'm going to part my hair I'm gonna get a middle part with this hair and I'm just going to really try to get my part as precise as possible with my red tail comb and then I'm going to start just to make the part look more realistic I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to pluck my part this is a really important step when it comes to like me for me when it comes to customizing and then i go in with some concealer and i just really like define my part so i can really get a good feel of where my part is and i don't take a lot of concealer just a little bit so it's not too much so the part isn't too big and then i just go back in some more and pluck the part really good just so it can look more realistic it's not so much hair around the part and that is also this also makes your wig flatter because it's not so much hair at the top of your head making the wig look bigger so i really go in and i really tweeze really good for my part and bam look at that part already looking good so then i go back in I So now I'm just going to add some layers and the wig already looks so flat, it looks good. So I'm just adding layers just so like the hair will frame my face really good and I just comb and I'm using this like, um, what type of comb is this? I forgot but you get it from the beauty supply and it, it just makes the hair thinner. One side of it, it kind of just like makes it you know not so much hair and then the other side it it really cuts the hair so I just keep going in with this comb razor comb and yeah until I'm satisfied with the frame of my hair and this wig is from Ally Pearl hair I got a 5x5 five five closure. It is 20 inches. I got it in a, this, it was first the shade 99J, but I did bleach the hair and I colored it this red color that I always wear all the time. <laughs> Anytime I wear red hair, it's like this color. So I will link this wig below. So I paid a total of $278 for this wig, 20 inch 5x5 closure, 250 densities. Now I'm going to start on my baby hair. So first I just take a small section that is really, really close to the, uh, to the lace, not a lot of hair, and now I'm just going to raise it. I always start off chopping it off pretty far down, chopping the hair off pretty far down, and then like cutting it shorter as I go because once it's cut, it's cut, can't go back. 
So now I'm just taking the got to be glue after I cut it and I'm just doing my baby hair, swooping it over. It's super easy. Like I love closures. I cannot believe like there was a time where I did not wear closures. Closures are so much more easy to manage. And I love closures. And then for the other side, I'm doing the same thing. Not a lot of hair. Sometimes I tweeze in between the hair so it's not so thick. And I'm just taking a part really close to where the end of the lace is. And same process, making my baby hairs. Later on, I did go back and cut them a little bit shorter than this because I thought they were still a little too long. But for me, I feel like I have to have my wig for a few days to really get a feel of it and see like what I need to change. But I a closure you can really just pop that bad boy on and then be out the door i can do i can put on my closure wigs in like five minutes and then i'm ready now i'm using got to be glue again to just do my baby hair and then it's just like i'm out the door with a frontal i would literally have to it would it would take me like an hour but i do want to try another frontal again just because i just haven't had just to like switch up my hair because i'm always wanting to like switch up my hair but it's just like frontals are just so much and I'm so spoiled now when it comes to closures because it's so fast quick and easy then I'm gonna tie my hair down again for about like five ten minutes and then once I take it off these baby hair is gonna be sitting this lace is gonna be sitting so now I'm taking it off <laughs> again and now I'm just going to make sure that my hair and my wig is super flat and really just seal the deal. And I'm going to take my Cara Care wax stick. I got this wax stick from Amazon. No, I feel like I bought it in my beauty supply, at the beauty supply. I bought it and I'm just going to put the wax stick by my part and at the edges of the wig so I can have like that little pushback look a little bit and then I'm taking a hot comb baby if you're doing wigs get you a hot comb a hot comb is your best friend when it comes to your wigs and having your wigs lay flat I need an I got this I got this hot comb from the beauty supply and it's not the best but it still gets the job done and it's an on off switch I just plug it in so yeah, I do want to invest in a better one, but yeah, this one, it gets the job done, so it works for now, and I'm just going through the hair, getting it straighter, and going through the part in the top of my head just to get my desired look. The keys to getting a flat wig is getting your hair braided down, wearing a wig cap under your wig. Getting a wax stick really changed the game for me when it comes to laying my wigs. Also, a hot comb changed the game changer when I wanted to like have my wigs like that. Look how much flatter it lays. And I need to go in and do the back. Now I'm doing the back, so the back lays flat as well. Game changers, like you need these tools and just being able knowing how to pluck plucking is another thing that will change the game for you when it comes to your wigs laying flat you gotta pluck your part pluck the front of the wig you know pluck the hairline of the wig and just where you need to don't over pluck but with closures you have more freedom to pluck because they don't shed as like a like a frontal shed they don't shed like that so that's another advantage to wearing a closure if you want a wig that will last you longer and i'm just going back in doing more customizing getting a little bit more layered i want it to be a little more a little more layered now that it's laying flat and yeah just keep going until you get your desired look when it comes to plucking but take your time when it comes to cutting and plucking because once it's gone it's gone so yeah i think this wig was super cute it turned out i love this wig it turned out cute it's so flat it lays flat the the lace is good like it's just it's a 10 period like yeah yeah I 
I'm using the brand Garnier Fructis. These are just their serums, anti-frizz serum. I just put that on my head because the hair was kind of dry after being bleached so many times. So I just put that on there so it's not so dry. And just a little bit, not a lot, because I didn't want the hair to be looking too oily. And I kind of did put a little bit too much, but it wasn't bad, you know. But yeah, I like the little layers. And I just make sure that it lays super flat. This is the back of the hair. I'm not really good at I always miss a spot when I put on my hair when it's not when it's on my head. But yeah, I like how the wig turned out. It looks super cute. Give this video a thumbs up if you like how this wig turned out as well. And let me know what, what other hair videos you want to see. Y'all know I love hair and wig. Wig series is always lit. So yeah, leave me some comments on some hair companies or hair textures that you want me to try next. So this will be final look. I feel like it looks so cute. This is how my hair turned out. The wig is dumb. Dumb flat. <laughs> dumb flat. Super cute. What's I been doing here? Like this over. But yeah, it looks very cute. So cute, right? I love the hair, the wig lace split. I love the 5 by 5 closure. You can see a little up close. Y'all can see it. You're never gonna be able to hide your lace completely. So if somebody can see your lace, they need to back up. They're too fucking close. Like, I'm sorry, they're too close. Like, you need to tell them they need to back up because they're too close. You don't need to be so close all up in my face to where you can see my lace. If you can see my lace, you're too close. Back up. Give me some give me some room. Give me some space because you're too close. Period. You are never going to be. That's something that I had to learn. That I'm you're never gonna it because it's there. It, it has to be there. Disguise it in the best way that you know how. Disguise it how you can. And then let it be it. Like let it be that. It's lace, it's there. You're not gonna ever be able to hide it completely unless it's not there and you need it to be there to stick on your head. Then you good. Like this, you, I'm good. Like the lace is not clockable unless you just on top of my head. <laughs> you shouldn't be on top of my head, no way. So, yeah. You shouldn't be on top of my head. Anyways, you you ain't got no business on top of my head anyways. So yeah. So boom. This is what we're looking like. Lace is good. It's unclockable. Yeah, it's on flat. Fuck. Oh my I be trying not to cut. It's on flat, flat though. And yeah. Tell people don't be getting too close to you know. I know my hair is cute, but back up, sis. Back up. You're gonna see something y'all wanna see. It's gonna break your heart. Dad, laces are not like it's not gonna happen for y'all. So back up, sis, before I break your heart. And make sure to go watch my Get Ready With Me with this makeup and outfit details. Like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. To everyone you know to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. But yeah.